The plans are to provide some more housing and bungalows up at uh, the woodlands at uh, Warnesaws Langworth. And it's how many? Uh, 19 altogether uh, on one site, and then we've got five uh, bungalows uh, on West Street um, at, at Warney Thorns as well. We are going to build four single uh, accommodation houses, because I don't think there's enough uh, accommodation for single people. Uh, there seems to be a shortage. Uh, we've got some two-bedroom bungalows, uh, we've got some three-bedroom bungalows and we've also got uh, one four-bed house and that's on the woodland side. So a real mixture, which we were talking off camera, is, is important for you and, and for the Bolsover home, home scheme as well. Yes, it is, because, I mean, regarding the bungalows, I, I mean, I've said it for years, uh, a lot of, because I come from Langworth, a lot of people who I know who wanted a bungalow have had to move out of the area because there's not been sufficient uh, accommodation. You know, they've either moved to Shirebrook or, or Langworth Junction. And I think when you've lived in a village all your life and you've still got your family there, I think it's nice to be able to stay, you know, in that area where you've always lived. This is all part of the uh, uh, District Council ambition uh, to build at least 400 houses of the next four or five years. A uh, 30 odd million pound programme. And uh, this is uh, Woodlands one has just gone through planning. It were agreed uh, last week. Uh, so it's quite exciting. New method of construction is using timber framed. Uh, there'll be uh, heat uh, exchange pumps in it, you know, so it'll reduce carbon uh, consumption, top quality insulation. I think, I think it's an exciting project. It'll be a credit to Bolsover District Council. What about the area? We went down this morning to go and have a look at it. Why that specific area? Why is it important to, to build there? Sandra saw opportunity of having a, um, uh, an opportunity. Well, yeah, she saw some opportunity uh, of putting in state-of-the-art uh, accommodation. And uh, it's an ideal spot. It lends itself to it. And I think uh, residents who live in Langworth have, have said there's never been enough uh, bungalows available, like I've said. You know, so Steve and myself, we always listen to residents. And I think it's exciting for council as well, not only for residents, because it's a new method of building, you know, construction. Mm -hmm. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that, you know, when they've built and afterwards are, are they servicing the public. Yeah, groundbreaking in that respect. It is, yeah, yeah. As a council, as individuals, yet again, it's uh, another step forward in this in this project that just seems to go from strength to strength of also the home scheme. You must be really pleased. It's good. I mean, we're picking up houses, uh, or you know, on numerous sites as Sandra has referred to, uh, but still building his own. You know, as I said, four hundred uh, of the next few years. Uh, it's got to be good. I mean, you've got to think of future. If we don't think of future, what we're here for, you know. Um, you know, we provide services, so, we, you know, and I'm quite proud of what we do, I mean, especially this past two years. To, to get this far during that time, I think it's, uh, I think it's excellent. It's all about looking to the future, isn't it? And, uh, you know, Sandra has four-hour meetings looking at the design of these things, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I think uh, credit where it's due. Uh, let's get these things built. This is... Uh, first one using modern, modern method of construction, yeah. and I think it'll be good. Yeah, um, I think they'll be queuing up to want to get in there.